Sporting Trials is one of the oldest forms of motorsport in the UK. Uh, it's an off-road event these days, but it originally started in the classic reliability trials that all the manufacturers used to do in order to demonstrate uh, their, how good their motor cars were. So, so sport, sporting trials is, is a team sport. There, are, there has to be a driver and a passenger. The purpose of the passenger is to move around the cockpit of the car to bias his weight, his or her weight, over whichever wheel is the, has the least load on it. So when you're going on an uphill section, uh, you need to be conscious of the camber and the gradient uh, of the of the hill so that you get the maximum grip uh, from the rear wheels so that the driver's uh, focus is on the course ahead <laughs> adjusting uh, adjusting the fiddle brakes to make sure that the the wheels don't spin um, unnecessarily so that you maintain your forward motion and so the passenger is then observing the course and the direction that the driver's going which fiddle brake is using to then uh, move their weight. So the passenger could be considered a bit like um, a sailor in a dinghy. They're adjusting their position to balance the, the stability of the vehicle. To be a good driver and, or to be a good crew, you have to understand each other. You have to be able to read the, the terrain. So that's looking carefully at the ground, not just the direction that the course takes you, but actually the ground itself. You're looking out for areas that are particularly muddy, uh, wet, whether they might have vegetation on them. Today we've been challenged with bluebells, a lovely quintessentially British spring flower but when you drive over it, they ooze a very gooey sap out of them that's uh, like trying to drive over oil. It's incredibly challenging. So, so terrain is as, just as important as actually the, the direction of the course. <laughs> 